good to see you again. Here we are again. I know. Can you believe it's been almost, I guess, yeah, just about two years. It's crazy, right? It's crazy. It's crazy. Um, crazy. <laughs> well, I, know we have a, we have, I know we have a short time. I'd love to just chat about kind of what's going on, but I thought I'd ask you a couple questions. Uh, so you both end up back at the White Tower in season two. So mm -hmm. I'd love to hear kind of, <laughs> that's, that's the answer I needed. That's it. That was it. <laughs> I feel like I shouldn't even ask this question, but I will. So what does the tower symbolize to each of your characters in this season? Yeah. And Madeline, maybe. Yeah, I mean, at the start of uh, this season, I think Egwene is having a bit of a uh, conflict of uh, confidence and a bit of an identity crisis, to put it uh, bluntly. Um, I think she's starting to second guess what the White Tower means to her. I think originally, you know, she had a very strong idea of what it meant it was the center of the world it was the place that you went to she had so much respect for it um and now I think she's starting to feel like it might not be the place for her you know um mm. she's very much an idealist and I think she's feeling a bit invisible and a bit lost there um, it's not what she thought it was. And I think her rose tinted glasses are slipping. So, um, yeah, that's sort of where we find Egwene in this season. And obviously her point of view of what the white tower means shifts quite dramatically. Sure. Uh, Zoe, how about, how about for you? And Nynaeve. Yeah, I think, <laughs> I think for Nynaeve, uh, the white tower at this point in her life symbolizes, um, what was what was lost? It's kind of a symbol of of change and and discomfort. I think the White Tower is the last place that she wanted to be, um, and the only reason that she's there essentially is because Egwene is there, and she's there to keep a watchful eye and to make sure that Aes Sedai don't do anything that she wouldn't approve of to her little sister. Um, mm -hmm. But yeah, I think I think it's it's a symbol of 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 change, as I said, and I think that. Um, corresponds with Nynaeve's journey, continuous journey of uh, letting go of control and 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 letting go essentially. Yeah, no, that, that makes sense. I, I, I can't get over when you were like, <laughs> <laughs> that, that's I just, that's a stick with me. <laughs> Um, very naive of her <laughs> yes that was that was perfect uh there are there are a ton of new cast members in season two so I'm curious and uh, maybe I'll start with you Zoe for this one uh who well, and there's also a lot of new locations new uh nations who or what has made the biggest impact on Nynaeve in season two? Oh, what a great question I think I think it would be Elaine. Yeah. I think she, yeah, I would I would say their relationship surprises Nynaeve. They're, they're very different. They relate to one another very in, in very different ways. And there is a huge shift in how they think of one another from the beginning of season two to the end of season two. Yeah, that's great. Uh, Madeline, for you, is, uh, is, there, is there someone that stands out or something that stands out that made the most impact on Egwene in season two? Absolutely. There certainly is someone that stands <laughs> out. Um, I think, you know, book fans and uh, people who are aware of, you know, Egwene's journey will know who I may be referencing, but there is a person that comes into the fold uh later on in the series which has a massive lifelong effect on Egwene their relationship is incredibly complicated and uh brutal but also uh a relationship that Egwene will never forget and will forever change her um and also someone that makes her realize the extent of her own power and what she is capable of yeah, I think, uh, like you said, I think book fans know exactly uh, yes. know exactly what you're saying. Yes, you might have well, a like, what you about? <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, I just want to say thank you very much for uh, taking a moment. It's awesome to see you both uh, again. And you hopefully, too. hopefully we'll have a chance to chat for a little more than five minutes next time. But this was awesome. It was so great to uh, 
to start the process towards the March, towards the premiere in September. So uh, great Thank to see you both. Guys. And yeah, hopefully we'll see you again. So soon. nice to see you again. Thank you. Say hi to the whole family as well. We'll do. We'll do. I'll tell them. I'll tell them hi. So good to see you.